I'd like tonight to direct your attention to Psalm 100. It's a well-known psalm, and yet well worth our paying attention to it. It's fascinating, really, to think that these psalms were written 3,000 years ago in a very different country and setting from our own. And yet they're so relevant for us today. The lives of the authors of these psalms must have been very, very different. They didn't have phones. They didn't have electricity. They didn't have cars or buses or planes, computers, radio, television. None of these things. And yet, when we read the psalms, we can see ourselves in them. Our experiences are so similar. And that's because it's one God in the Old Testament and in the New. And it's one way of salvation from the very beginning. There's only the one way, the one covenant of grace. Now, there are differences and there were sacrifices and things like that in the Old Testament, but essentially it's the same. How are we saved? Through the Son of God dying for us on the cross. How can you and I be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That was the way for Abel, for Noah, for Abraham, for the people long, long ago. And that's the way for you and me today. Repent and believe the gospel and you'll be saved. And so as Christians, we...